that abolition began with the very beginning of the trade in enslaved Africans. Africans would overpower the crew on various slave ships and direct the ships back to the coast. Or in some cases, the ships would perish with the enslaved Africans on them. And there was one rebellion that had a huge impact. A successful slave revolt in Haiti emboldened Africans across the Caribbean and the Americas to resist their enslavement. In 1791 in Haiti, slaves under the leadership of Toussaint Louverture, a free man with military experience, revolted against their French slave owners. Although Toussaint Louverture did not live to see it, Haiti became an independent republic in 1804. One of the few instances where a slave rebellion resulted in complete emancipation of a society. And it just reflected the human impulse towards freedom. And the Haitian experience it was catalytic in many ways. It reverberated across the United States and Latin America. In North America, there were a number of rebellions by slaves inspired by the example of Haiti. However, slavery itself did not end with abolition of the trade, for instance, continuing until 1865 in the south of the United States, and various forms of slavery and forced labor were practiced by Europeans for many decades to come.